Hello Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope you're all doing really well. This reading is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus sign Cancer. If you like this reading, please like, subscribe, comment and share the content if that's what you feel like doing. I really love and appreciate you all so very much for all of your support on my channel. And for private readings specific to you, please visit katietarot.com. So Cancer, let's take a look at your week ahead. Calling in your angels and guides, spirit and source energy for Cancer. Five tea leaf cards for you, Cancer. This is a general reading, so please take what resonates for you personally and just leave the rest. Guidance for Cancer, please. Guidance for Cancer, please. Guidance for Cancer, please. Messages that need to come through for Cancer, please come through now. Messages that need to come through for Cancer, please come through now. This card here. Guidance for Cancer, please, Spirit. Guidance for Cancer. Your energy, Cancer, and the energy around you for the week. Let's take a look at your first message. We have the energy of the turkey. Someone is behaving stupidly. Someone is behaving stupidly around you this week, Cancer. It's going to be very, very obvious who this person is. You may already think you know who this person is going to be. There is a, a strong sense here that you may have warned them. You may have given them advice. They may be someone close to your heart. They may be your partner, your love interest. And you've had talks and you've communicated to them about their behavior or about whatever it is that they're behaving stupidly about. And it looks like this week they're going to show these colors again. There may be some frustration around this. There may be some frustration. Let's take a look at your next card. We have the wedge. Someone is trying to come between you and a friend or something you want. So there's a wedge that's being put into a relationship. There's a wedge and that's coming from perhaps your partner, perhaps this person or whoever this person is here being represented by the turkey, whoever's behaving stupidly or in a frustrating way. They're putting a wedge between you and them or maybe a third party trying to put a wedge between you and your partner or it may be that you are going for particular jobs or positions, putting a wedge between you and the job or you and your manager or you and a relationship that you're wanting to forge or something that you want. So be aware of this. There's someone around you or a circumstance around you that's going to try and block you from achieving uh, what you want here, Cancer. We have a diamond energy, a diamond. So you will be receiving or giving a precious gift. And this could be an actual gift or it may be a compliment. It's something very close to your heart. So you'll be, there's an energy of exchange here between you and another, which is very positive. So that it could mean that there's a turnaround in this relationship and things start to improve in this relationship or it could be a different situation there's an energy here of beautiful exchange between you and another we have the energy of a chair being filled someone new is entering your life cancer someone new is entering your life 
And we have the hand in need of help, assistance and guidance. Perhaps someone is entering your life because they are in need of help, assistance or guidance. Or you yourself may be reaching out to another because you're in need of these uh, things. So we have some interesting energy here coming in to begin your reading. Let's take a look at your next card. Yes, I really love this energy, Cancer. Actions speak loudly. Express your love through actions. And that's what this is here. I feel it's a confirmation of the diamond energy of that giving and taking, the receiving and the giving of a precious gift or a compliment or a helping hand or assistance, guidance, whatever it is that is specific to you and your circumstances. I love it. You're going to be expressing your love through actions. And you'll have at the forefront of your mind this week, Cancer, that actions speak loudly or more loudly than words. So someone may be saying something to you that sounds fantastic, but are they going to follow through with it? Are they going to show you with their actions and their doings what they are telling you? And that's going to be highlighted this week for you. We have the energy of success around you, Cancer. And it says on this card, I know that there is no greater goal than to love. So you are coming from that heart center, which I absolutely love. It's beautiful energy, Cancer. So your, your heart is still open. Your heart is still open to this person or to this situation. It hasn't been closed off or closed down. And there's success here if you're working toward finishing a project work or improving your relationship in some respect. There's success here for you, whatever you're working on or whatever you're wanting to manifest. You're going to have success with it in some way, shape or form. So that's a beautiful energy. We have the armadillo spirit. Set healthy boundaries. So this may be in relation to the action speak loudly. Or louder than words, as the saying goes. You've got to set healthy boundaries in your life this week, Cancer. You have to do that to protect yourself. For things to become clear, you're going to have to set healthy boundaries. This could be in a personal relationship or it might be in the workplace or maybe a family member. But however this comes up in your life, Cancer, it's important that you heed this advice and that you do set healthy boundaries. You have the King of Pentacles. There may be an earth sign around you. There's an energy here of being very comfortable materially um, in your life, in, in your work life or in relationships, being very comfortable in your position in life. So I love that energy for you. We have the Empress, which is the mother archetype. You may have a passed over loved one who has a divine feminine energy that may be a mothering influence or has been a mothering influence on you. There is a sense here of you perhaps being a mother or nurturing a project or um, caring for someone. There's a strong, uh, yes, a strong sense of growth here, Cancer, around you. Growth in a material sense, a financial sense, or a manifested grounded sense. Hmm. We have the Ten of Staffs. You know where you're wanting to get to because you can see the castle or the palace in the background, which is where you're wanting to go to in this relationship or in this workplace or whatever it is for you specifically. But there are a lot of trees. There is a lot of there's a lot of stuff to to work through to get to the end goal. 
it's there within sight. So this is a positive thing. And this means that it is achievable. But you're having to work through some circumstances to get to your goal. And I love this, the Knight of Cups. This is an offer, an invitation, a gift. This is this is this energy here i love how actions speak loudly your actions are going to speak be speaking loudly to another person or in a situation this week cancer and you're coming from the heart because it's cups beautiful we have the two of staffs so this is about planning and preparation and making sure that you're in a good mindset and you're, you've got everything, you've got all your ducks lined up in a row, as they say, there's an energy here of you making sure that you tick all the boxes before you leap out, before you take your first step, before you manifest what you want. There's a partnership here as well in business or in love. And I'm seeing you raising the world very high. So this is the success, a worldly success. Or success in this endeavor that you're embarking upon whether it's to improve a relationship or to set healthy boundaries or to connect with someone of importance so some interesting energies coming through this week cancer for you a really nice read for you i hope you have a fantastic week ahead and i will talk to you all again soon